Okay, welcome back. Uh, another tutorial here at AllieMonroe.com, and we're going to continue off where we left off in the last tutorial on the hammer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and texture up in him into a cartoon style. Uh, briefly cover, very briefly cover UV unwrapping. Uh, throw a few materials on this guy, and uh, I think uh, in the next tutorial we'll uh, go ahead and animate this fella. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, first thing I want to do here on this model is uh, clean house. So. I'm just going to rename a few things here. So this is going to be the body, hammer for body. All right. I'm going to go ahead and delete one of these eyes just for now. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. We're going to call this hammer eye left. Okay, perfect. So what we need to do now is just kind of prep the model a little bit more. Uh, I, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and give him some eyebrows. Uh, we're going to leave out the mouth. Uh, just, uh, I think we're just going to have him animating, jumping around a little bit. So we'll just cover how to do that. So what we're going to do is duplicate this eye over. And we're going to scale it up. Just kind of offset the proportions on this fella a little bit. And this is going to be eye right. Okay, so next what we're going to need is some eyebrows. Set this up a little bit. Okay, so to do that we're going to go with a cube. So we'll go into our create standard primitives box. We're going to go into our front view here. Just spin around. It's really our back view. Create the cube on the ground here. And then move it up in the front. Okay, again, um, like I said in the last tutorial, uh, if you don't like the bounding box around your object, just hit J and that'll make it disappear. We hit F4 to see our wireframe. And it looks like we have enough topology to do what, what I want to do here. We're just going to round it out a little bit and then throw a turbo smooth modifier on top of this just to give it some softness to it. So we'll convert to editable poly and grab our side vertices and move them down. Grab our top vertices, move them up, form a bit of an arc. Again, we'll grab our side vertices again, and we'll just scale them down. That kind of gives it a bit of a flare look to it. And uh, I think ours are just a little too wide, or too much depth to them, so we'll bring that in. Alright, and that should do pretty good. We'll throw a Turbo Smooth modifier onto that. And set our iterations to 2. Okay, that might be a little bit too tall, so we'll just go back into our edit poly modifier. Turn on show end result on and off toggle. And just bring that down a little bit. Bring these in. Just to kind of make them not so symmetrical. We'll do the same, th we'll duplicate this the other side, holding shift. The other side, make sure it's a copy, hit OK. And then we're going to flip this in the axis. So we're going to come up here to mirror. And we're just going to make sure that's flipping an X. We're not going to clone it and hit OK. And because the other eyeball is really big, I think what we're going to do is just scale this one down to match up with the proportions of this eyeball. All right, perfect. So most importantly, we're going to go ahead and name. So hammer, eyebrow, left. Copy that. Paste it on the other one. And we'll call this right. Okay, perfect. So if we hit H on our keyboard. We can see everything that's in our scene. We have our hammer body, eye left and right, and eyebrow right and left. So everything should be all clean and ready to go. Go ahead and save that. Alright, so we're all ready. So what we're going to do is go into our material editor. Again, we're going to use the basic slate view. Uh, that's in all the older versions of, two, or of 3D Studio Max. Uh, 2011 does have a no base. I'll just bring it up real quick. This is what the no base one looks like. But to keep things simple, we're just going to go back to the slate view. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a multi-sub object. Since our 
body here it looks like he's going to be made up of two different uh, materials. We're going to have like a, a rubber handle and then we're going to have a bit of a, me a metal look up here for the, the metal part of the body. So, But since it's all one object, what we can do is we can assign a material to an object based on its ID. So instead of explaining that, let me just show you what that means. So what we're going to do is go into a material, we'll name it body, and then we're going to click on the standard on the right hand side here. What we'll do is we'll go down to multi sub object, and we're going to keep old material sub object. And we're going to delete all but two. So we can come in here, set number to two, like that, and hit OK. Or we can just hit delete, and it'll delete from the bottom to the top. All right? And we can call the top, uh, this one here, body. And this one here will be the metal. We can call it the head. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is start defining a cartoon style material for the body. So let's click on the body material. Make sure that's named. And we're going to go into the standard right on the right hand side here. And we're going to choose ink and paint. And ink and paint is a material that will allow us to give that bit of a cartoon look to it. It'll have a, a bit of a border. And we can adjust how many shades of that color there is. So we'll go into the light and we'll changes to an orange color, kind of match the website. Now we're going to give it a bit of a highlight. Just going to up our ink quality up to 5. I will lower our change our outline to be the same color as our orange. So we'll just grab the eyedropper tool, click on the orange, and just make that a little bit darker. Alright, perfect. And so we're going to go back. That should do for the body. Oh, except we're going to change our paint levels from 2 to 3. This will allow us to have mid-tones, dark tones, and light tones. We can set it to as many as you want. The more you get, the, the more realistic or non-cartoonish it's going to look. But normally in cartoons, you have three different tones. So we're going to choose three. And we're going to jump back out here. So go to parent. And we're going to do the same thing for the head piece in here. So we're going to go into the material. Make sure it's named. We're going to call this head. Go into the standard tab, and we're going to choose ink and paint. And for this one, we're going to choose a bit of a lighter gray color. We'll set our phases or our paint level to three. We're going to have a highlight. We change our ink quality to five, and our outline is going to just be a bit darker than the our paint color. Crack that up. All right, perfect. So now we need to apply this to our model. So if we just drop it on there, it's just going to be all, it's going to be a little bit random. Everything's going to just choose a face for it to go to. So what we're going to want to do is with the body selected, I'm just going to hit F4, show that's selected. All right, and we're going to go down to modifier tab and add in an edit poly. And on this, we're going to and the reason why let me just show this reason why we're adding another edit poly instead of defining them here is because if we define everything from this body right up into this piece here, right up where the neck is, uh, because we have triangles here, they kind of deform a little bit and the program will just deform it but not knowing that, hey, this is the handle and we'll just get a little bit of a, a jagged edge there on our material. So what we're going to do is just add an edit poly modifier on top of our turbo smooth and this will allow us to choose the exact faces that we want. So I'm just going to grab a selection at the bottom to make sure I have it even. And I can just hit the Grow button. And as I click this a few times, you'll see that the selection is just growing up the handle here. A little closer. We're going to go to that second line there. Okay? And this is going to be the body. So what we need to do is come scroll down on the right-hand side and tell this that its ID is 1. And I know it's 1 because in the material, 1 is body and it's orange. So we're going to set that to 1 and hit enter. Okay, so now what we can do to make this a little easier, since every other face other than the body is going to be uh, ID2, what we can do is just come down here and select ID1. So we hit select ID, looks like some other pieces had it. We'll just select everything here, deselect and try and make it even. It'll be a little bit tough since we have those. We'll hit grow. 
make sure we go right down to where we met with the last one. So that second edge right there. So two more times. And this ID will be set to one. Or two, sorry. And there you go.